Today I'm going to show you how and why you should join your line work in AgTech. So right now I have just brought in a PDF. I'm in import mode. I vectorized it and I'm ready to start sending my data over. So I'm going to start by just clicking on these design contours and you can see right away that I've got these diamonds in the lines. So a lot of times at the start or end of curves, you're going to see these. That's just how the engineer drew this plan in CAD. Um, but we can take care of those lines for you. So I want to make sure these are joined so that when I go to elevate these contours, I'm not having to elevate three different segments. I'm just elevating one nice, con smooth, continuous line. So it's as simple as just hitting this J icon right here in my toolbar. So I select the lines, that whole layer is now selected. I hit this J icon on my toolbar. Those diamonds go away because AgTech has now joined the line. And then I'm ready to just right click and send those over to design. And I can do that for all the different lines that I'm looking at, my existing contours, my curb and gutter lines. I want to hit this J icon, but I just want to show you the difference um, in edit mode. So I'm going to actually just send these over to design. Let's just pretend I forget to hit the join. And I'm going to send over these curb and gutter lines without joining them. So let's hop over to edit mode. And the advantage here for these contours is just like I said, now I've got nice smooth lines. So when I go to elevate them, I could just type in those elevations. I can use this F8 hotkey to just march myself right down the job. And I can very quickly elevate all these contours because they run the entire length across. I don't have a bunch of little segments broken up. For this curb and gutter line, let's look at the gutter, I didn't join these. So I've got short little segments here that I now have to work with. So if I started typing in these point elevations, this 868.5, this 868.7, I'm creating more work for myself because I've got to type it in at the end of this line segment and then at the beginning of this next line segment. So I want to join these up before I start elevating. So that's really one of the keys for when to use the join function. Try to join your line work before you start elevating. Because for AgTech to join lines, they've got to meet three criteria. They have to be the same line type. So I'm all annotation lines or all data lines. They're, you're only joining lines that are the same type together. They've got to be at the same elevation at the endpoints you're trying to join. So of course, in this case, I haven't put any elevation. So that makes that easy again. And then lastly, they have to be within the bridge gap distance. The endpoints have to be within the bridge gap distance that you've set. So by default, AgTech takes that to be a tenth of a foot, meaning that the distance between the end of this segment and the beginning of this segment is a tenth of a foot or less. You can go up here to options and pick bridge gap distance and make adjustments to that setting. Um, both horizontally and vertically if you have a job that requires it or there's you know bigger gaps and lines you're trying to join. Just be a little bit careful while doing that that you're not accidentally joining you know the back of curb lines or anything that you don't mean to be. Now to join these lines in edit mode I can of course just hold down shift and grab the two halves of the line and then hit this J icon or control J and it's going to join those segment by segment. But of course that's going to become a really time consuming process as I keep marching my way, you know, all along this curb and gutter line. So instead I'm going to hit label select here and that's going to grab all the lines that were in that layer, all the lines labeled this concrete layer. So that's one of the advantages of joining in import mode is of course that whole layer is already selected. So once I've hit label select and I have all those line segments highlighted, I will hit this J icon again or control J. And now it has joined all those different segments that were the same line type, all annotation at the same elevation, of course, zero since we hadn't put elevation on them yet and that were less than a 10th of a foot apart. And now when I go through and start elevating this 
gutter line and I'm typing in my 868.5, my 868.7. I'm only having to do that one time. Oops, 868.7. And the program's able to more, you know, can slope that line for me. And then most importantly, when I am ready to run a template for this curb and gutter, I've got a nice long segment that runs the whole length of my parking lot. You know, you can just keep seeing it go around because I've now joined up all those little pieces together and I've got a smooth continuous line. So try to make sure that you join your line work while in import mode. I think that's the best habit to get into, but if you ever forget, it's no problem at all. Just select your line, you can hold down shift to grab multiple segments or hit that label select button to grab the whole layer and then hit this J icon on your toolbar and then you'll be working with much smoother pieces. Let me know if you have any questions.